We talked about, you know, the possibility of Notre Dame hitting the Big Ten. Let's hit on a little more realignment mess. Take me into the mind of a network. I want to know the value of teams when a network looks at a media rights deal for certain conferences. Like, do they look at individual teams and place a valuation on them as to maybe how much they would be worth in different conferences, et cetera? Like, let's start off with, Let's start off with that one. In your opinion, is there anybody in the Pac-12 or the Big 12 currently that would add value to the Big 10? Not to the extent that the current members, should they give that school a full share, would would they would they would take a reduction in their fees. So I mean, you could bring Oregon or Washington or Stanford or Cal in. Are they are they worth 75 million a year? No. Are they worth maybe 40? And would would they take a smaller payout? Uh, to be in at 40, possibly the, the schools. And, you know, that's, that's happened in the past. Uh, Maryland and Rutgers in Nebraska, you know, they have, even in Nebraska. Yes. They had smaller shares to start. I think they're all full fledged members now, but so it's, it's not unprecedented, but as a, a television guy, I mean, that's more of a network, you know, that's what a network looks at, you know, certainly they might ask, or, I mean, that's what a conference looks at. What, what the network looks at is, you know, maybe the conference says, okay, we're looking at, you know, bringing a couple of schools in, how much more are you going to pay us? And yep. so at that point, then certainly the networks will look and see, you know, wh- what are the rivalries? What's the tradition? What's the brand? What's the TV market? You know, what can it do if we have a conference on channel? You know, can that help give us some lift to that anywhere? Um, that, those are the type of things they look at. But it, when you're when you're buying an entire package of rights, you don't really look at it school by school. You're really looking at it by, by the markets. You know, what's the TV audience size? What are the rivalries within the within the conference? You know, what kind of games can you make with other conferences uh, that you might have uh, television rights agreements with? And those are the types of things that the, the network really looks at. And you know, past ratings, success, where they, you know, what the conference's expectations are versus where you might think they fit in in the pecking order of how other conferences are paid. Uh, there's a little bit of a you know, a slotting system that goes on. Um, and it's important. And, you know, the networks, you know, that's their job. They, they do that. They've got research guys that do that day in and day out. You can pick up the phone and, you know, in two hours have a, a you know, a deck with more numbers than you'd ever want to see <laughs> that tells you, you know, why you should go after this conference than that conference. And this is how much you should pay them. And now that does make sense. That does mm-hmm. make sense. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.